And so, welcome to the 4x4x48 breakdown. It sucked. No, I'm joking. It did. So, as we go along this video, you can see a little snippet to me doing the 4x4x48. All right. And yeah, this is just a breakdown video of what happened. Okay, and how did it go? So, it was sound. Okay, it wasn't. It wasn't too bad. No. Last year, I did the 4x4x48 and failed very, very, very embarrassingly. So, I managed 16 miles. All right. Now, that 16 miles were freaking tough. Like, I think I did the first 8 mile. I was sound. I went out on the 12th mile. All right. My calves were jacked. My knees were jacked. My rib cage was jacked. All right. I always seem to, whenever I get close to like 16 miles, like the top part of the bottom part of my rib, okay, the pointy part here, all right, and underneath always seems to get bruised, okay. It used to happen when I was in the military, military and it still does now. I don't know why, okay. It could be need to do my breathing, okay. I mean, to cost all my muscles not being strong enough. I ain't got a clue, all right, but I always get problems there. And that happened this time around as well. For some reason, I hit the 16 mile point this time around and the exact same thing was starting to happen. And even said to um, even said to my wife, I was like, Jesus, I was like, it's happened last year, and it's happening again. But then it was fine after that. So started off at 4 a.m. in the morning. So 4 a.m. in the morning. Right, so first four mile box off. Nice and peaceful on the roads. Uh, just walking it back in just to get them, let the legs recover. And then when we get in, I'm gonna foam roll and then just chill. Probably have another hour's sleep and then get back up. Sort a few things out and go again. But well, yeah, started off well, let's go. We get up, no sorry, we get up. We get up at half past three and off we go tootling at 4 a.m. in the morning, all right and the 4 a.m. run is the little intro that you saw at the start so started off sound wasn't even wasn't a problem wasn't a drama um we kept on moving kept on going nice and easy okay um food wise to start off with i've been pre loading on carbs okay i did a, I did a mini carb load four days prior um to the event yes i know the event was over two days and you had gaps in between to eat, all right? But what I, what I knew was gonna happen, did happen, okay? So four days prior to the event, I started carb loading. I think I was at around about 300 odd grams of carb on the first day, and then it finished off the day before the, um, the event, so Friday, I ended up having around about 850 gram of carbs on that Friday. Woke up Saturday morning, all good to go. The reason why I carb loaded, guys, was purely because I knew for a fact during the event itself I wasn't really going to eat masses of food all right you won't by the time you got the run done the recovery part the cleanup part okay you probably had around about three hours left maybe about two hours and 45 minutes before you had to start getting yourself ready for the next run so it was just snacks like I was snacking okay so I try to make sure I get a minimum of 20 grams of protein post run, all right? And then whether that be in the form of a shake or a protein. Right, so this one's gonna be a bit slower because I decided to come a route with some massive stairs, isn't it, man? What? Oh, my legs are thanking me right now. So once this is done, about a 16 mile point, Two more runs for today. 8 p.m., 12 p.m. We go again tomorrow. I mean, do I need some food, Dom? I need food. And them stairs would kill me. Jesus. Right, and so I realised I haven't really talked about, talk, spoken about food so much during today's challenge. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm having now after my after the 16 miler now. So 16 miles in. So I've got protein yogurt and 90 gram 
90 gram of frosted flakes and a monster i have got yogurt or something like that okay i'd make sure i get a minimum of 20 grams of protein post run and then i'd have just some carbohydrates and fats okay within that three hour window and then go again so it, it, nine times out of ten it was just snacking snacking on stuff okay i had two proper meals for the whole entire two days okay two proper meals and it's just because i can't stomach that amount of food before going out and doing a freaking four mile run so it was just snacking snacking a hell of a lot um when did I struggle? Where did I struggle? So, Saturday evening, okay? Saturday evening, I did my 8 p.m. run, okay? So this is all in the first day still, okay? Saturday evening, did my 8 p.m. run, that was fine. I was happy on the run, I come back, I was sound. The plan was to not fall asleep until after my 12 o'clock run and sleep between my 12 o'clock and my 4 a.m. run, and my 4 a.m. and my 8 a.m. run, okay? That was the goal. Sleep, in, sleep between those two windows, okay? And don't sleep before the 8 and 12. What did I do? I ended up falling asleep. So, I woke up, because I made sure I set an alarm just in case. I woke up, and yeah, my head wasn't in that run, okay? It was freaking 12 o'clock at night. I... I just, yeah, just my head wasn't in it. So I set out and literally, I think for the whole first two miles, I was talking myself out of here. Why the hell are you doing this? Why the hell are you out here at 12 o'clock at night running like a knobhead? Okay. But at the end of the day, I chose to do the challenge. Okay. So at the end of the day, how can I be pissed off at myself? I chose to do the challenge. Um, I got two miles in. Okay. Because the way I worked it was I ran out two miles, I ran back two miles. That's the way I did it. I wasn't doing no laps of anything, forget that. Okay, I ran out two miles, ran back two miles. Um, but I got to that two mile point on that tw uh, uh, that midnight run, and yeah, my head went to, my head went to, to like, shit. Yeah, I can officially say, I'm in hurt locker. Hurt like a central right now. Like, um, yeah, this one sucks. All the rest of the runs have been all right, man, but this one fucking sucks. I uh, mentally ain't any. I set my alarms just in case I fell asleep. The last bit of time that I saw was about 25 past 10. And then, next thing you know, my alarm's going off. So I did fall asleep, I ended up having an hour. And when that alarm went off, I could not be bothered getting up. So I ended up freaking snoozing the alarm, snoozing the alarm, snoozing the alarm until it was like quarter to, ten to. So I didn't, didn't have time to put Vaseline on my legs. Didn't have time to ice my ribs. So... Okay, so I ended up bloody freaking screaming at myself at the on the middle of the road uh, to try and get myself back into it man so the houses around me probably thought what the freaking hell is going on out there okay but yeah I beat myself up on that 12 o'clock one all right and then when I got back obviously went to bed and it was 4 a.m 4 a.m wait 4 a.m uh, for the next run and it wasn't as bad as the 12 o'clock one, but I still had that negative mind, mindset because of the 12 o'clock one. Um, and it was just dark, obviously. At 12 o'clock at night and four in the morning, okay, there ain't really anything on the roads. Especially on a Saturday night and a, um, a Sunday morning, okay. The only thing that happened on a Saturday night was a freaking car got T-boned and I saw it. So that was the only thing that happened on that 12 o'clock run, okay. Nobody else was on the road, all right. Ambulances come out, sort of stuff, sort, sort the geese right in the car. Um, but other than that, man, nothing happened. So you're on the road on your own, so you're bored as shit. Nothing's happening, nothing, there's nothing to look at, nothing to keep you interested. Okay, it's a mental battle. I, I didn't, yeah, I didn't plan for that, if you know what I mean. I thought it'd be easy, okay. I didn't think, I didn't think it'd be a bad experience, but it turned out it was. So, yeah, 4 a.m. come. 
just doing that negative mindset, all right? And the run moved, it, it, obviously I got it done, okay? But it wasn't as good and as smooth as the rest of the runs. The runs themselves during day one, okay, were kept between a 40 and 45 minute window, okay? I'll upload a couple of runs here, all right? It was kept between a 40 and 45 minute window apart from the 12 o'clock one. Okay, that ended up being like friggin' 53, 54 minutes or summer, summer, summer saft. Okay, so that was day one. 